What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm James. Today we're going to be diving into my new shoe I just picked up, the Nike Wild Horse 5 trail running shoe. That's right. So I'm a big trail runner. I live out in Arizona. It's one of my favorite things to do, especially with the weather's nice. So what I thought I'd do is do a deep dive into the shoe as we do a little unboxing. Before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel just so you can stay up to date on all future content. And let's dive into the shoe. guys so here we have the nike air zoom wild horse 5 trail running shoe huge fan love the colorway love the blue i'm a big fan of the actual trail symbol that they have going on here their nike trail symbol um but overall i'm a big trail runner so i do love running in wild horse versus the terra tiger uh, there's a few differences but when it comes to the Wild Horse shoe, they have the Zoom Air in the back of the shoe versus the Terra Kiger, they have the Zoom Air in the front. So depending on if you're a, a midsole or a forefront striker or a heel striker, will probably depend whether or not you want to get Zoom Air in the back or the front. Zoom Air is nothing new to Nike. This is something they have on a lot of their shoes. It's definitely something on a lot of their new shoes with the Air Zoom Pods to where you can actually see through with the Zoom Air. The whole kicker with the Zoom Air is it is cushion and responsiveness built in one. So when you're looking to get out there and hit the trails and you're running a lot, you definitely want something that's comfortable, that's going to give you cushion as well as going to be responsive to keep you snappy out on the trails as you keep going. So this shoe definitely hits the mark with that, which I'm a big fan of. One thing I like about these new wild horses versus the older versions is that they do have a rock plate built in on the midsole here. That is meant to help protect your foot a lot more when it comes to stepping on huge rocks or sharp rocks as you're out there running and hitting the trails. Here in Arizona, trail running is a huge thing, so I try to keep a decent pair of shoes. I love just the aesthetics of this too. Uh, they, they got a lot of uh, cool stats. I don't know if you can see inside here, they actually have coordinates in the shoe. So as you can see here, they do have the coordinates in the shoe. 45.331 North and 121.711 West. That actually takes you to Mount Hood in Oregon. So if you're not familiar with Nike, they do have what's called a Hood to Coast that they do run every year. And you start at Mount Hood and you run, it's like a Ragnar team relay and you run all the way down to uh, the coast. So it's pretty cool. So again, just, I love little features like that when it comes to Nike shoes, just kind of throwing that in. But apart from the rock plate and the Zoom Air, I am a fan of the grip on these. Um, it is something to where you feel, you do feel really good out there when you are on the trails. I've actually worn shoes like these, my older versions, when it comes to mud runs or uh, terrain races, such as Spartan or a few others like that. You do get a lot of traction. Again, it's comfortable on your foot. Now for me, I did go a half size up from what I traditionally wear because I notice when I'm running down hills or down the mountain, my foot will typically jam up against the edge more. So I wanted to give a little bit more space. I can already tell with these, they have a little bit different back when it comes to the cushioning here on the heel, along the uh, ankle, and when it does come to the, the tongue. So that is something different from my Wild Horse 2s. The tongue is a lot more fat and cushiony, but this one still seems to have the cushion. It's just dispersed a little bit different. And then it does have a different lacing system than the traditional wild horses of the past. So overall, I'm, I'm stoked about the shoe. I love the way it looks. It does feel great on foot. I have yet to go out there and run in it. So that is my goal this weekend. So I will definitely have an updated video for you guys about my experience out on the trails in the shoe. All right, everybody. I hope you like this shoe as much as I did. I can't wait to get it on my feet and put some miles in it. If you haven't yet, again, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to smash the like button and leave a comment below. Let me know if you're into trail running or if you're into road running. All right, YouTube, peace.